Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT Jam MS year 2022, problem number 35. The problem says that a university bears the yearly medical expenses of each of its employees up to a maximum of rupees 1000. If the yearly medical expenses of an employee exceeds rupees 1000, then the employee gets the excess amount from an insurance policy up to a maximum of rupees 500. If the yearly medical expenses of a randomly selected employee has uniform distribution over the interval 250 up to 1750, the distribution uh, the and then y denotes the amount the employee gets from the insurance policy, then which of the following statements is or are true? That means it's a multiple select question. More than one may be correct. So first of all, let x denote the yearly medical expenses. We don't know the yearly medical expense of that randomly selected employee. So that is a random variable. And let y denote the amount from the insurance policy, OK, from the insurance policy. Now, it is clearly stated that the yearly medical expenses of a randomly selected employee has a uniform distribution. Therefore, x follows uniform 250 to 750. Therefore, the PDF of a PDF, the density function of x is this, right? This one. Now, y. Y actually is denotes the amount from the insurance policy. Notice that if the yearly medical expense is less than equals 1000, then it is completely covered by the university. And hence, it's the amount we get, the amount this, that person gets from the insurance policy is 0. If x lies between, is less than equals 1000. That means if x lies between 250 and less than equals 1000, it is 0. Because, because it is then completely covered by the university. Now, if x exceeds 1000, if it is greater than 1000, but less than equals 1500, then obviously it's x minus 1000 because 1000 rupees is already covered you know the university bears the yearly medical expense of each of its employees up to a maximum of 1000 so up to a maximum of rupees 1000 it is bared by the university the excess amount is given by the given from the insurance policy so from up to from if it exceeds the 1000 rupees mark and if it is less than equals 1500 then it is x minus 1000 and what if it exceeds even 1500 if it is x, x, if it goes be, uh, above 1500 if x is be, you know, above 1500 say x lies between 1500 and 1750 then also why we already know that the insurance the me medical insurance can up to a maximum of rupees 500 right so it cannot give more than 500 rupees that means say for example the total the x is 1600 then obviously it is 1500 it's more than 1500 and that since the overall policy the overall insurance is obviously a maximum of 500 cannot give 600 because y is at most 500 right so basically y is a random variable which lies between 0 and 500 right including 0 and 500 it's clear this formation of y writing y in terms of x is the only thing that is important that is actually the in matter of this problem it is this is the only thing that is you know you have to figure it out it's easy, but this is the only uh, everything else just follows easily. This is the only thing that's that matters. So y is equals to zero if x lies between two fifty and less than equals thousand. If x greater than thousand and less than equals fifteen hundred, then it's y is x minus thousand. And if it exceeds fifteen hundred and less than seven fifty, then it's five hundred because obviously y cannot go more than five hundred. Therefore, y belongs to this interval now. Obviously, probability y less than 0 is 0, right? Because obviously, y lies between 0 and 500. And probability y less than equals 500 is 1, because I already know that y is something between 0 and 500. So it being less than equals 500 is also 1. So therefore, probability y less than equals 0 is basically probability y equals to 0, right? So probability y is equals to 0 is nothing but this one. y is equals to 0 if x lies between this. So probability y equals to 0 is probability x lies between 250 and 1000. We can easily calculate that from because we know that x follows uniform distribution. That is half. This one is half. Now, suppose y is a real number between 0 and 500, strictly between 0 and 500. Then probability y less than equals y is we are using the law of total probability. We are splitting out the value of x because we don't know what value x assumes, right? 
so we are using the law of total probability so probability y less than equals to y given x lies between these values into probability x lies between these values plus probability y less than equals y x lies between 1000 and 1500 times probability x lies between 1000 and 1500 again plus probability y less than equals y given x lies between 1500 and 1750 times probability x lies between 1500 and 1750 we are just splitting out the three scenarios this three scenarios this one this one and this one now see if x lies between this one if x lies between this then obviously from this one we know it's zero y is zero right so y so if x lies between this one y is zero therefore y since y is zero for this case then y is zero being less than equal some positive number is obviously the probability is one so this part becomes one and this part can easily calculatable right it can be easily calculated this one this probability x lies between 50 and 1000 so this is one times this one now the second part the second sum and this one probability y less than equals y given x lies between 1000 and 1500 for this part y is equals to x minus 1000 therefore it's x less than equals 1000 plus y given we're just replacing y by x minus 1000 and hence this one x less than equals 1000 plus y since already x lies between 1000 and 1500 therefore y is x minus 1000 and therefore x is less than equals 1000 plus y again the last part if x lies between 1500 and 750 then obviously y is 500 right this one this y is 500 then the probability it being less than something which is less than 500 is zero right because y is strictly between zero and five y is less than 500 so its probability so probability 500 less than equals something which is less than 500 is zero so this this part is zero therefore this last part is zero so this part can be easily calculated and this part is nothing but probability x lies between 1000 and 1000 plus y now the ultimately the answer is half plus y by 1500 therefore the cdf the distribution function of y is 0 if y less than 0 half plus y by 1500 if y lies between 0 and 500 less than 500 you have to be careful with the inclusions of the you know the different points where we are taking the breaking down the functions 0 less than equals y but less than 500 and 1 if y greater than equals 500 because obviously we know that if y is 500 and if y is 500 or more than that then clearly the probability is 1 so now we have got the cdf of y this way now the problem is very easy to do now expectation since y is a positive random variable so expectation of y is integral 0 to infinity 1 minus f of y dy we can do that we are not why is a mixed random variable right clearly why is a mixed random variable so its expectation is this one which can be easily calculated now we know the cdf so this is 500 by 3 expectations of option one is correct now probability y greater than 300 is one minus probability y less than equals 300 again this can be calculated using the cdf so this is 3 by 10 so this one is also true the option b is also true and the third one if m is the medium median of y then m is the smallest real number such that probability y less than equals m is half okay? so we already know that probability y less than equals zero is half so y is the median of y is zero so option three is also correct now let's go to option four last one the quantile of order 0.6 for y is equals 100 so what is the quantile a quantile is a real number xi p is the p quantile of order p if it is the smallest real number such that probability y less than equals xi p is p so where p is lies between 0 and 1 now probability y less than equals xi 0.6 is equals to 0.6 now obviously is this xi 0.6 is greater than 0 right because if it is 0 or less than 0 then it's not going to happen so it has to be greater than 0 now if it is greater than 0 then you can use the cdf and put the formula of that half plus xi 0.6 by 1500 from there we can find that psi point is actually 150 therefore it is not equals to 100 therefore option d is not correct so the three options that are correct is option a option b and option c so there you have it the solution of this problem the only thing that matters here is the formulation of y in terms of x this is the only thing that is important and hence we have to find a cdf of y that's it nothing else that's it so it's a very easy problem not very easy but it's you know it's 
once you find the CDF of Y, it's completely fine. So, see you till next time.